Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Bioshock in our uh, Let's Replay series. Uh, we're still in Neptune's Bounty, close to the entrance of Fontaine Fisheries, where we need to go to the basement of. But first we're gonna go downstairs. I also want to talk a bit about Neptune Bounty, Neptune's Bounty itself, because the name is actually pretty nicely selected, since, uh, well, Neptune is the Roman god of the sea, and, well, the bounty, the bounty of Neptune, is what they bring in here, the, the spoils they get from the sea. There is a few, there are a few things over there, most likely, yeah, okay, whiskey, and there's something else there, more shotgun rounds. No, that's about it. Okay, let's check under here, because it seems like there's a few more things down here. And a lot of empty crates, of course. There's no camera down here, if I remember correctly. But there is a gate with uh, a key code attached to it. I'm not really sure what the key code is, but we can already grab a few things. But if we really want to get in there, we need the key code for this door. So, uh... We'll need to get back here when we have that. Look at that, fishies. Fishies they keep here to uh, make food out of. So let's head back up, because we... Oh, there's something shiny over there as well. More shotgun rounds and more machine gun rounds. Well, we don't really need. So let's get back to Electrobolt. And uh, we have a lot of Adam, and we haven't been spending it yet. Especially since we uh, got a few new goodies as well from the from the teddy bear we got from uh, Tenenbaum and the little sisters. So now we have 400 Adam. Uh, also something to note, if you harvest the little sister instead of rescuing it, you get double the amount of Adam. So you get 160 instead of 80. Since you need to rescue three little sisters to get a teddy bear and you only get 200 Adam in return, you lose about 40 Adam if you go for the uh, rescuing instead of the harvesting. But if you go towards the harvesting route, you don't get the extra plasmids and uh, tonics you receive from the teddy bears. So as you can see, the inventory of the gatherer's garden has improved a bit. And now there are uh, a lot more extra plasmids added and uh, two more tonics that we now can uh, add to our inventory as well. Uh, extra nutrition allows us to gain a little extra health from snacks and bandages and machine buster just uh, increases damage against uh, robotic enemies, cameras, bots and turrets. But, the more interesting one is of course plasmid slots. We need at least one more. Because I'm gonna put incinerate into that slot and there we have another trophy. There we go, we've seen that. Uh, and now I'm gonna add another slot. And in that slot we're gonna put the uh, hypnotized big daddy plasmid that we got from uh, the teddy bear. Cry out for Big Daddy's help. Make him think you're a little sister. Watch as he fights to protect you. So that's going to be really handy in clearing out splicers because uh, the Big Daddy will come to our aid. Uh, aside from that, I do want to have a little Eve upgrade, so I'm going to buy that as well. There we go. You can now carry more Eve in your body, allowing you to use more plasmids before having to reload with an Eve hypo. There we go. And then another really interesting one is, uh, well, they're all pretty interesting. Uh, Rage is a really cool one, because we've heard that in the audio diary, the AccuVox, that uh, Su Chong was trying that out on one of uh, his patients. Uh, target Dummy is creates a decoy that draws attacks away from you, and Winter Blast is just a freeze blast that allows you to freeze enemies. Uh, I am gonna go for decoy for now, for target Dummy. There we go. Enemies on your back distract their attention with a helpful decoy. They take the heat, so you don't have to. Um, I'm gonna wait with using that right now. There we go. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna keep that 60 atom for when we possibly find something else. So now we have four plasmids at our disposal. Telekinesis, Incinerate, Electroboid, Electrobolt, and Hypnotize Big Daddy. Hypnotize Big Daddy will be able to use when uh, the need arises, when we are surrounded by uh, splicers and there's a Big Daddy nearby. But for now I'm gonna go with Electrobolt and uh, keep the wrench handy. So there we go. Um, next up, we're gonna head into into Fontaine Fisheries, where our objective actually points towards. And you might wonder why we're not going over there. Well, you'll see in a second. So, let's go here first. Blame a lady who craves variety. And there we have the spider splicer again. 
And uh, a lot of first aid kits hinting at what's to come. Because, um, yeah, this isn't really cool. So there's again a lot of stuff over there on the ceiling, including shotgun bullets and more first aid kits. I um, don't think there's anything on the other side. No, there isn't. So there we go. I'm also going to keep the shotgun filled with the normal box. Okay, we're at maximum there. So let's keep Electrobolt handy just in case that woman shows up. And let's activate the door. Hello, Fontaine Fisheries. Let's bang on the door with a wrench. And there's somebody on the other side. Freddy, hold on ahead. Says you were looking for an invite to the fisheries. Nuts, I say. But if you head up to the Wharfmaster's office and find old Peach a research camera, maybe I could manage an invite. So Peach Wilkins doesn't want to let us in. My friend, you have fucked. You need to be really careful with these spider splicers. I'm gonna use the one to punch a lot. And there she goes. Oh! And Peach Wilkins saves us with a, a bolt. And there she goes. Goodbye. That one's too tough for you. Look on the belt. You'll find something to keep you alive. And look now, at that. Go get that camera and then snapshots of those that crawls on the ceiling. Then I'll let you into the fisheries. Just remember, sonny friend. I smell an ounce of Fontaine on you and I'll have you in a box. Atlas gives you the vouch. But I ain't turning my eye just on his say so. Okay, so Peach Wilkins is really paranoid about Fontaine, the guy that apparently Wrong owns man, this place. You're but a ghost. Fontaine's dead, and everybody knows it. In the ground for months, and half the place still jumping at his shadow. Christ, even Ryan. You never mind all that. We got work to do. So yeah, Fontaine is apparently dead, but a lot of people believe that he's still alive. And Fontaine was actually the rival of uh, Andrew Ryan trying to take control of the city. But apparently he died, although not everybody believes that. So, next objective is to find a camera and use that camera to research those spider splices that, according to Peach's Wilkins, will allow us to uh, do more damage against these guys. So. The spider plaster has also strung up a few guys over there. I'm gonna quickly hack this health station to heal up again, so uh, let's go. There we go. So let's heal up and uh, keep that there for now. So now we need to find the research camera. So as you can see, there's a lot of dudes over there in the water. And not anymore. Because two Jumps of Electrobolt is enough to take these three guys out immediately. So let's check out their corpses really quickly. A bit of money and electric bucks apparently. So that's that. I'm gonna quickly buy a few more Eve hypos because we have the money to do so. And then uh, there's not a spider. That's not a spider splicer. That's a nitro splicer. There we go. The rocket launcher uh, took that out. There we go. Nothing in the grenade box. Okay, hi. So this is where we need to go towards the uh, the upper wharf and the office of the wharf master. I uh, don't think there's much I can do here. A bit of loot, but that's about it. Okay, so that's where we came from. Uh, I'm actually wondering if I should take a quick look over there. Hmm. 
These are empty. Oh no, yeah, right, this is where we came from. Not gonna antagonize any more splices than I need to. Sorry, got confused there for a second. So, let's go to the upper wharf and uh, follow the objective marker. And there we go, another Eve hypo. Oh! The only downside to using the Electro Bolt and the, the wacky combo, the one-two punch combo, is that, well, Electro Bolt uses a buttload of Eve, so you can usually only use it twice, well now three times, because we upgraded our Eve uh, bar, but uh, that's a bit of the annoying part of using Electro Bolt all the time. Okay, hi. Are you still here? Where the hell? Oh! There she goes! And, well, there goes the uh, the grenade box as well. So let's get down, down and out. Let's see if we can find anything here. Well, the grenade box dropped down here as well. I don't think that will have any loot. They usually don't. But there's another AccuVox here, so uh, let's take a listen. Something must be done about Fontaine. While I was buying buildings and fish futures, he was cornering the market on genotypes and nucleotide sequences. Rapture is transforming before my eyes. The great chain is pulling away from me. Perhaps it's time to give it a talk. So, and suddenly an Eve hypo appeared. Because there is a guy over there. But... So now you can't even hit me. And... Hi! So the uh, anti-personnel rounds are really, really effective against normal splices, as you can see. Because that just took them out in uh, a few shots. Well, the machine gun has a lot of ammo as well. So let's check these things out. I'm gonna hack this thing as well. There we go, another health station at our disposal. And now we need to go uh, further up to the upper wharf. If I'm honest, I believe, well in my opinion, Neptune's Bounty is one of the more boring areas in Bioshock. It's uh, not as interesting as some other things we can f come across. So uh, now we're introduced to proximity mines, which are uh, a different kind of ammo for the grenade launcher so there we go we can switch that out and then we can do the same thing that the rosy uh big daddy can do and we can stick that onto objects uh and we uh we will be using that a lot so right now i'm gonna switch back to the wrench and actually to hypnotize big daddy because usually there's a big daddy here so let's take him at our disposal and he's gonna protect us normally There we go. Look at that, he killed everybody and he's gonna keep firing. What that does, however, is it removes the little sister from that area temporarily. So there's something else firing rockets at us. And uh, we can hack that though. There we go, another rocket uh, turret for us. And apparently the Big Daddy didn't attack that, because that was uh, what I was afraid for. Um, also, just don't be scared to use your uh, money, because uh, as you can see, we uh, get a lot of that here. So now we have Big Daddy following us around, until the effect wears off. Uh, but it takes quite a bit. And this... Okay. And uh, this is also a very interesting uh, AccuVox, so let's take a listen again. Crawl out of the event and find me. We look for you. 
for you, but if you find me, come to us. In the spicy McDonald's in room number seven. The call to our room is seven five three three. We miss you, our darling child. So sadly, the Big Daddy just took out the rocket turret because it's fired at it instead of the splicer. Which kind of caused a bit of trouble. But hey. Um, that was Mariska Lutz. And Mariska Lutz is important to the story because she was the singer that was chosen to uh, sing the main song of Rapture. The one that you also get at the beginning credits. Maybe I'll input that here for a second. So that song is uh, sung by her, and now we can actually see a big daddy get a little sister out of this thing. Because we might take advantage of the situation as well. Um, well where was I? And Masha, her daughter, was uh, taken away from her to... Uh, well, it's implied that she became a little sister. Because she talks about the, uh, the other little sisters that she sees. So there's a little sister. I'm gonna take advantage of the big daddy uh, being already a bit wounded. And then we're going to do something else as well, because now that we have these proximity mines, uh, I'm looking for an explosive barrel of some kind. I want to try something really, really cool. So let's see, let's stay away from the... Yep, there we go, thank you. Is there no... I thought there were explosives over here, but I'm not finding any... Hello? Because we kind of need explosives to deal with this uh, big daddy. Is there nothing here? Oh yeah, there, okay. So let's take telekinesis. I'll pick one of the bar... Never mind, I'm gonna drop that. I wanna have one of those barrels, yeah. Because these are a bit easier to work with and I'll show you in a second why that is. Because I'm going to make a giant bomb for the big daddy to deal with. So I'm hearing bullets, but uh, let's drop the barrel down, swap to the grenade launcher, and use the proximity mines on the barrel. So that adds that to each other. Let's use telekinesis and uh, get ready for a pretty big bang. There we go, that's about half its health. And now we can use the electric box, which I don't have equipped, of course. So let's keep the, the thing in the middle here. Oh, he hit me. He hit me again. Woo, do, 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 do. Let's take the pistol really quickly. Almost dead. What the hell? What? I had half my health le left, but... Apparently that didn't work out. God damn it, that was stupid. Uh, let's pick up the shotgun. I'm gonna use that. I thought I had a bit more electric buck left. And that's why I kind of lost to that big daddy. But I'm gonna finish it off right now, because... Uh... Oh, and there's another one over here as well. Hello. Yeah, she's gonna panic. That's not the big daddy I'm after. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's keep the... I'm gonna take this thing with me. Maybe finish it off immediately. Because adding proximity mines to an explosive improves the... Uh, look at that, he's bleeding. I'm gonna wait till he, uh, till he pulls her out. And then just blast him with this thing. There we go. That kind of hurt me as well. So let's rescue her. And that gives us another uh, little shot of Adam. That took way too much of my health. Because I'm going to use my last health pack Thank as well. You. You're welcome. So that's another $49. And I'm going to have to be really, really careful. 
because that was not really good. That didn't go as smoothly as I wanted it to. So let's pick up this first aid kit and look at this diary, because another very interesting one. I saw one of these smugglers having a game of catching on the docks today. And this surprised me because his hands were crippled during the war. He was unloading the barge the other day when he was bitten from this sea slug. He woke up the next morning and he found he could move his fingers for the first time in years. I asked him if he still had that sea slug. As luck would have it. <laughs> he did. So, as you uh, might expect already, the sea slug that that man, that crippled man that healed all of a sudden, found was uh, the same slug that they found Adam in. So the first uh, occurrence of the Adam substance. Yeah, okay, that was too close. That was my fault. That was completely my fault. There's a camera up there. I'm gonna hack it. So they found the slugs under the sea here. By accident. Completely by accident. I think I can... No, I can't even get to that thing. Can I by jumping? Maybe? No. Okay, so I'm gonna destroy it by using one of the armor piercing bullets. There we go. I only have one of that, so that might not be interesting enough. So let's check out this uh, audio diary as well. So they found Adam in a slug under the ocean when it healed the man by accident. Somebody to watch. Once he was just a menace to be convicted and hung. But he always manages to be where the evidence isn't. He's the most dangerous type of hoodlum. The kind with vision. So, uh, we already heard a lot about Fontaine in this place. But uh, most think of him as a crook, especially Ryan, who feels like he's a threat to his uh, empire. But let's first hack the vending machine. There we go. I'm gonna, of course, buy a few more first aid kits, because that Big Daddy battle took its toll. Uh, maybe one more Eve hypo as well. There we go. Stocked up a little bit again. Uh, and now let's hack this other camera here as well. There we go. One for the team again. And then let's check out these other crates really quickly. There's more frag grenades down here, which we will be able to use against our uh, next big daddy. But, Warp Master's office. Looks just like what you'd see topside. According to this magazine ask I scratched so up, it can also... Analyze genetic information, parse biological structures, lots of other five dollar words. So, uh, of course, the Wharf Master's office is heavily guarded by all matter of uh, security measures. So, there's a turret over there on the left. That thing. I'm gonna try and uh, move past here. And hack most of these. There we go. Now we have to be careful. And if we're fast, we can uh, st start making a really, really nice circle of security measurements that works for us instead of anybody else. There we go, another camera for us. And now uh, every splicer that enters behind us is gonna get his ass kicked. There we go. I'm just gonna have to... Yeah, okay, there's one over there. And there we go. I think that's the last one. And now all we have to do is just wait how it kills pretty much everything. That was booze. We don't need booze. Yeah, because that just wasted all my Eve. And there we have this nice little stash of items. Yeah, and this is gonna be pretty loud because, well... Everything is getting killed in here. Now, this is also a great way to lure in another big daddy to just let uh, all the security things take care of everything. I uh, don't think there's much around here aside from those supplies. Uh, nope. Yeah, the body of a dead Rosie. More first aid kits, so that's why I didn't uh, fill up everything because you 
quite often stumble across more Eve hypos than uh, first aid kits than you can use. So let's whack this lock open as well. There's another one of these here as well with a camera looking right at it. And let's jump and hack. There we go. Another camera for us. Not that there would be anybody entering here. Um, let's see. I think there's another audio diary here as well. Yeah, there we go. And look, is that? No. I thought that might be uh, one of the developer commentaries, but it just looked like that. Hanging now, is it? That's what we've come to now. Look, I don't make the laws here. I just enforce them. But I didn't come to rapture to string men up for running contraband. If Ryan and his crew have their law, then they can have my badge. So there we go. Sullivan, the chief of police of Rapture, is uh, not that pleased with the fact that Andrew Ryan forced him to hung, uh, hang those smugglers. We can hear a big daddy and a little sister. Uh, begs me to wonder if I can even lure them into this uh, death trap of uh, security device. So let's hack this safe first to see what's inside. I don't have another hack tool, so I'm gonna hack this uh, the normal way. There we go, wasn't that hard. So let's see what's inside the safe. Three anti-personnel rounds. And there we have the uh, anti-personnel rockets, the heat-seeking RPG. And 23 measly dollars. So let's get back up here. Don't think there's a problem here for me. Um, there's another enemy that got triggered. And we can still hear the big daddy, but we got through towards the office. But uh, let's continue to loot everything, because uh, every little piece of uh, equipment might help. And let the cameras do their work and the security devices do their work. And as you can see, those smuggler, smuggler crates are still all empty. Uh, let's see, we're in the Wharf Master's office right now. now. And there's a splicer locked up in here. But here's a research camera, there we go. And uh, take pictures of enemies with a camera to research them. This is another type of weapon, it's, uh, it's stuck in the weapon slot. Each type of enemy has a unique set of research bonuses. Try taking a picture of the splicer on the other side of the window, keeping the subject centered and nearby. So we can uh, take pictures of enemies and the better those pictures are, the further you will go towards their research and we got another trophy for researching a splicer and each level you uh, unlock unlocks extra information slash uh, damage boost. So now we got an increased damage against spider splicers and it tells us that spider slicers are Splicers are vulnerable to anti-personnel rounds. So uh, that's not really all that new of a news. So we can take another picture. But as uh, if you take a picture of a splicer you already photographed, the rating decreases. So uh, we should always take pictures of things we've... Uh, of new enemies. Uh, and with that, now that we found the research camera, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on youtube and if you haven't already don't forget to give it a thumbs to subscribe to my channel because i'd really appreciate any uh support you guys can give me but uh with that said thank you guys enormously for watching and i hope to see you in the next video or another series goodbye